Hello, my name is Sophie, and this is The Know. Here are today's top stories. Israel and Egypt are locked in a bitter row over the Rafah crossing. Georgians continue to protest as the foreign agent law is passed in Parliament, and a manhunt continues for an escaped inmate after two guards were killed in Normandy. Keep watching to find out more. Israel and Egypt are locked in a bitter row over the Rafah crossing, which has been closed ever since the IDF took operational control. The two countries have been blaming each other over the worsening humanitarian crises in the Gaza Strip, as aid deliveries have been halted from the crossing. Egypt says Israel's military operations near the Rafah crossing have made it impossible for aid to flow through safely. On April 1st, seven aid workers were killed by Israeli airstrikes. Three of the victims were British citizens. On Tuesday, Foreign Minister Israel Katz posted on X, saying, Yesterday I spoke with UK Foreign Secretary and German Foreign Minister about the need to persuade Egypt to reopen the Rafah crossing to allow the continued delivery of international humanitarian aid to Gaza. Today I will discuss the matter with the Italian Foreign Minister. The world places the responsibility for the humanitarian situation on Israel, but the key to preventing a humanitarian crisis in Gaza is now in the hands of our Egyptian friends. The Israeli foreign minister added that they will not allow Hamas to control the crossing due to security concerns and are unwilling to compromise over the issue. His Egyptian counterpart, Foreign Minister Sami Shukri, categorically rejected Mr. Katz's assertion that it was Egypt's responsibility for aid to flow through the crossing. Mr. Shukri called on Israel to assume its legal responsibility as the occupying power by allowing aid access through the land ports that are under its control. For months, the US, UK, and other Western allies of Israel have been warning the country against a full-scale invasion of Rafah, without a plan of the fears that it would lead to catastrophic human casualties. On Tuesday afternoon, Farhan Haq, Deputy Spokesperson for the Security General, read out a statement on the ongoing Rafah military incursion. The Secretary General is appalled by the escalation of military activity in and around Rafah by the Israeli Defense Forces. These developments are further impeding humanitarian access and worsening an already dire situation. At the same time, Hamas goes on firing rockets indiscriminately. Civilians must be respected and protected at all times in Rafah and elsewhere in Gaza. For people in Gaza, nowhere is safe now. The Secretary General reiterates his urgent appeal for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire and for the release of all hostages. He calls for the Rafah crossing to be reopened immediately, and we must have unimpeded humanitarian access throughout Gaza. Nearly a million people have been sheltering in Rafah after escaping bombardment in the north and central Gaza. Protests in Tbilisi continue after the controversial foreign agent law passed in the Georgian parliament. The bill, which was proposed by the ruling Georgian Dream Coalition, seeks to force media organizations and NGOs receiving more than 20% of funding from outside the country to declare themselves as agents of foreign influence. Critics have dubbed the proposed bill as Russian law, comparing it to how the Kremlin introduced similar legislation to stifle opposition to its invasion of Ukraine inside the country and outside. Scuffles broke out outside Parliament on Tuesday evening as thousands of people gathered to voice their opposition to the new law. Georgians fear the new law will make it much more difficult for them to join the EU, after being given candidate status just last year. In a statement, the EU's top diplomat, Joseph Borrell, said, The EU has clearly and repeatedly stated that the spirit and content of the law are not in line with EU core norms and values. It will undermine the work of civil society and independent media, while freedom of association and freedom of expression are fundamental rights at the core of Georgia's commitments as part of the association agreement and of any EU accession path. Dozens of protesters have been arrested over the last month in the capital, as they clashed with riot police and faced water cannons. The controversial law has seen parliamentarians in Georgia come to blows. Last month, an opposition MP punched the leader of the ruling Dream Party during a speech in Parliament. And finally, hundreds of police are on the manhunt for escaped prisoner Mohamed Amra and the gunman who killed two guards and injured three officers to help him escape. Mohamed Amra, known as The Fly, was in a prison van being taken back to jail after appearing in court in Normandy on Tuesday. A car rammed into the van carrying him, with gunmen then opening fire, killing two officers and seriously injuring three others. The victims have been named as dad of two Fabrice Moel and soon-to-be father Arnaud Garcia. French Justice Minister Eric Dupont Moretti said Mr. Moel and Mr. Garcia were slaughtered like dogs by men for whom life means nothing. The gunmen used machine guns against the police officers, with one gunman reportedly lightly injured. 
The gang sped off from the scene in an Audi A5 and a BMW 5 Series. Both cars were later found burned out. 30-year-old Amra is well known to the police as the boss of a drugs network and had been indicted in connection with a murder. President Macron posted about the attack on X on Tuesday afternoon, saying, This morning's attack, which cost the lives of prison officers, is a shock to us all. The nation stands alongside the families, the injured, and their colleagues. Everything is being done to find the perpetrators of this crime so that justice can be done in the name of the French people. Thanks for watching The Know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to The Mirror for more daily news updates.